What's going on guys? Mega Gig back with another video, back with our high elves let's play with Total Warhammer 2 on the Vortex campaign, continuing where we left off. We are five turns into our last ritual. We've gotten rid of the chaos invasion over here. And we're beginning to uh, replenish these, rebuild these back up. Tyrion is down here. Dilly dallying around trying to chase this army. Chase them off at least. We need to get um need to get rid of this. Now one thing I find funny is uh this is unpleasant climate for us, but for Techless, uh it's a suitable climate, which doesn't make much sense because we're all high elves. Uh, at least that's the way it is on the Mortal Empires campaign that I checked. So if it's different on the Vortex campaign, that's kind of strange. But I don't know. Yeah. So anyways, um, in my other two campaigns, I am using mods. This one is still a vanilla because it's very close to the end. Uh, but I did recently get a new uh, climate mod that I almost turned on on this one just because... Um, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of the climate system in here. I like aspects of it, but I think it goes too far in a lot of areas. Um, but um, I don't know how lore friendly my thoughts are, but uh, yeah, I'm not really worried about all that. But, anyways, this. Uh, not a rich pack, no. Uh, this campaign is nearing its end once we get the final battle done unless there is a call to continue to go further and Shikara got her last skill point she's level 40 now and she's got the huge charge bonus and it'll be even better once we get her a uh, Ithamar chariot let's go ahead and give her a steed so she can get around a little better and yeah, that's it for now. Yeah, because when we hired her, uh, she had Incendiary, which gives a hundred charge bonus, and a bunch of other really nice bonuses too. A hundred percent weapon strength, flaming attacks, tons of stuff. I don't really have anything else to give her. Um, Alistar's waiting a couple turns for his Phoenix. Let's go ahead and get these building back up. That's level five. Uh, we'll go ahead and do this. Yeah, because it gives growth too. Prince of we'll move to here. And, oh darn, we need 50. Well, I guess we'll just move right to here then. Replenish a little bit. Should be able to make this in the next turn. And then... I think this guy is going to head out and get this mysterious island. Well, let's have him get out here and get this one. Let's do better in battle. Shrieking Blade, Bloody Red Spot, Passive Ability, Frenzy. Faithful servant. Lightning swift. And so I guess that's for this army for 10 turns. So, we've got Tyrion not moved over here. I don't really want to continue chasing this army. So, we're going to come back over here. I think we'll, uh, we'll cross over here. Keep an eye on what this army does next turn. I'd like to get some defenses built up here. And... Got settlement upgrade that we can upgrade the Griffin Gate. Uh, down here we've got a lot of upgrades. Very nice, very nice. Let's go with. We don't really need any of these things here, so we can go for either straight up income. We've got two ports, two harbors. So this is actually be really nice because it gives. 
10% income reports in all regions and income from trade, which we have a lot of in this campaign. Unlike our Dark Elves campaign where nobody wants to trade with us. <laughs> I don't know why I laughed. It's not funny at all. It's horrible. Because we're not making any money. And this guy is never going to catch these guys. All right, let's go ahead and end the turn. discovered doesn't affect me in the least and Alistar gained a rank um so we'll go ahead and boost his weapon strength some more he is on a star dragon so star dragon breath armor armor piercing all the good stuff one more turn till that's done Let's go ahead and colonize this. And let's get this stuff building up. We've got... Eighteen turns until next surplus. So we don't have any growth going. We don't really need the income right now. We'll, we'll switch that over to growth. And then we'll build a growth building here next, I think. Of course, this has good growth going, so... Guardian of the Phoenix Crown. While he's here, let's go ahead and Journey send him around. Home. He'll be fine. Take attrition one turn. Lots of building upgrades out here. There we go. Nice. I want some more garrison units, to be honest. Only one port in this region, because all these are no ports. Um. I think I'm going to go with this just to get the uh, garrison high mage and then uh, it'll also give us some more uh, research rate which we could always use a little bit more of that because we've got quite a ways to go over here so and that's it I guess Yeah, these guys decided to try and come back. See if we can ambush them. Because that army's going to get really annoying hopping back and forth all around here. We're not going to have defenses here for quite some time. Let's go ahead and end the turn. See if we can ambush these guys. And they are third on the list, so we'll find out. Nope, our ambush was already foiled. One thing about this game is it's really hard to ambush. I mean, it can say 80, 90 percent chance to ambush, and your ambushes still get foiled almost every turn. I very rarely get the ambush. Servant of the king. My and we'll let's actually move a little more here. We'll try one more time. See if we can get these guys to come in. Demolish this. Let's go with growth. 
and then all these things give a little bit of growth too. More settlement upgrades. What's the garrison difference here? More silver helms. Looks like one more silver helm is the only difference. And tons and tons and tons of upgrades over here. Go ahead and throw some growth into there. And here, we'll get this growing as fast as we can. Because even once we get this up, we need to get this to level 5. Skill point for our Lore Master Gendrill. Mm, this doesn't sound too bad. I know we started going this way, but I kind of want this and I kind of want that too. And we've got plenty of money. So let's go ahead and send uh, a good intervention. I know it's a little early, but I want to go ahead and send it and see what happens. Favorite of the Witch King. Warband of the Serpent, so a Chaos Army spawned in. We sent an intervention. Uh, looks like the Dark Elves sent an intervention too. Interesting. Interesting. So let's see what happens. Forgot all about this guy. Uh, let's do campaign this time. <clears throat> they got rid of the Dark Elf intervention, but what are they going to do with our intervention? Oh, wow, ours got destroyed too. What do you wish to discuss? So much for that. Military alliance with Pirates of Sartosa. They're friendly with everybody else. I'm not going to pay for it, but if you want it for free, you can have it. Let's go ahead and get lots of influence. Uh, well, we'll just get a little bit. We'll pay for it. Where to? Land ahoy. Send him around here. Lots of building upgrades available. Even more building upgrades available. This is going to take a while to build these, though. This is uninhabitable climate. We've got this, though. Rides garrison, dragon princes, and gate guard. Very nice. And... We've got two entertainment buildings, so this actually wouldn't be that bad. These are both entertainment buildings. Let's see what's going on down here. It looks like our ambush is still in place. We can reach them, but I fear they'll run. So let's move up a little further to make sure we're in their sphere where they're moving and try and ambush them again. And then Alistar should be done. Yeah, he's done recruiting. Let's come out here and get this mysterious island. Wow. All right. Land ahoy, highball. Full sails now. Let's get back in low there, and if we can. And I think. 
That's everything. It's not giving us any indicators. Our ambush has not been... Oh, we did get to ambush him. Nice. So let's fight this ambush battle. I almost never get to ambush in this game. I miss in Rome 2 where you could uh, you could set up like fireballs to roll down the hill and whatnot. It was that was a lot of fun. All right, so we've got a lot of heroes over here and their general. So my general is gonna go after theirs. Gonna go after hero, our mage. Be back here. They must have. A bunch of hidden ranged units in there, so... Let's hide our Dragon Princes over here. These over here. Plop our Bolt Thrower back here. And we'll do... Something like this. This. And that's it. So let's go ahead and start deployment. Because we're ambushing, I want to get the jump on them. So let's move these guys up like this. Let's attack them and them. Have one, our phoenix come in there. Moon breath. Attack him. that and have you come in from this angle <clears throat> I'm sure they've got some hidden units in here that we're not seeing Let's see this cut through them all and it missed most of them bring our dragon princes out to get this uh, range stuff. Breathe some fire down on these guys. Wow. Dragon princes, run them down. Breath attack. line our archers up about here. We're going to breathe fire on these ranged units once we get back up in the air. guys are fast. 
where's our phoenix at? He's way out here, not doing a whole lot. Where did Tyrion go? He quit running after their general, or did their general die? Looks like their general died. I wasn't paying much attention. That should be just about it. Pretty good ambush overall. Oh, darn. They've got my... Got my bolt thrower. Let's get all of our fast units over here to end this as fast as they can. Although these hailbirds are gonna, yeah, just tear through these guys. And apparently they used an ability. They're just prolonging their death. Yeah, get in there on that great eagle. Dragon's coming. He doesn't have any more breath. Phoenix is coming. Victory. Pretty good, except I wasn't paying attention to our bolt thrower. I don't think we lost it, though. I think it just took a lot of damage. Still pretty successful overall. Yeah, we killed our general. He got zero kills. He, he, they actually didn't get that many kills. Wow, these guys got 106. 90, 81. Bolt thrower apparently got zero. 40 from the dragon. So let's replenish. And they were able to retreat really far, so we're not going to be able to reach them this time. Once I get the defenses built up here, we'll move on out. I might be able to reach them. They're in Force March, and uh, we did just defeat them, so we might not. They might not run if we attack them.
It was the catalyst to weaken the Vortex and goad the other races into action. They knew the Asso would seek to bolster the failing Vortex, but they were ready. Every ritual cast, the magic was stolen, absorbed into the Horned Rat's bell. Now soaked in ritual power, the bell will be moved to Uthwan's heart. If it tolls thirteen times, the Horned God shall emerge from the Vortex, the world doomed. was gone, but in its place came a swarm of his children. Sneaky Skaven. Is that enough to make a difference? Are you done talking now, narrator? The insidious Skaven seek to bring their terrible god into this world, mighty lord. This must not come to pass. Continue your course of action. Crush the noisome rat men and take control of the Vortex for yourself. You can dance if you want to. You can leave your friends behind. Um, we can afford a little bit. Ambush defense chance, especially against Skaven, should be nice. So, of course, they invade right back over here, where we don't have anything built up. Oh, I couldn't have invaded somewhere else. Um, which makes me want to not try and hold that. I'm actually going to send this guy to here and try and hold this. This I don't think we're going to be able to hold. Lethal grace given for. Let's hurry Alistar up this away. Oh man, those sneaky, sneaky Skaven. And then I wonder if they're going to come this way too. If I come over here, can I recruit? I can't recruit anything. We shall not rest. There's no recruitable buildings there. We'll try and recruit some things and send over here. We, will endure. we might ought to... Um, might ought to build some defenses over here. We are this. It's funny they invade the exact same spot. Who is this? Oh, Tyrion. Guess I could just look up here. <clears throat> um, yeah, we'll go for more hit points. Strong versus a single combatant. That sounds good. And good old Jornator. Let's give some speed. Protector of the we actually can't. Yeah, we can't reach them. They're pretty weakened. Let's see if we can't ambush them again. Who else has an unassigned skill point? And 
and Dalos was injured. That's right. Uh, he can actually assault units. I'm going to bring him up here Not possible. for now. Got some building upgrades available to us. And that is it for that turn, and that is it for the part, guys. We are right on the money at 30 minutes. About the length I like to keep it, as I've said. So next time when we come back, we'll deal with these. It's interesting, it's only five stacks again. I've seen, um, in my own experience and in other people's gameplays, where there can be like eight stacks, and it's really crazy. So I guess I'm kind of thankful that it's only five. Uh, and they didn't really give us a chance too much to build our uh, defenses back up so we're probably gonna lose these again uh, but we're gonna make our stand over here uh, we'll have a little bit of a defense I'll bring Alistar in and then we're gonna see if we can't hold them up here as well uh, I'm not entirely sure I don't think Skaven can move underground so we don't have to worry about them hopping over here Although we've got mostly most defenses built up over there. So we'll see. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and a comment. And subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you guys for watching. More good stuff to come. Take care.